Okay, I just finished making my, uh, or I just had my first break on the uh, Turnigy Desert Buggy. And um, what the first part that actually broke on it was the uh, rear pivot block, which is uh, uh, this piece of plastic underneath uh, these two screws here. And I went ahead and replaced it with a Kyosho part uh, because of uh, those, uh, those just happen to be the parts that I have readily available. Um, after doing the repair, I noticed that um, I, I'm not really sure if that part failed because of the plastic or if there is a design problem, but when um, you fully compress the suspension on this, the, if you see the shock, the shock doesn't go any farther down. It's as far as it goes, but the bottom of the car does not bottom out. There's a little bit of a gap there. See that? Um, it doesn't quite hit, so that puts extra stress on the suspension parts. Same thing uh, on the front of the car. When I push this down, it doesn't quite make it all the way down to the bottom. I'm pushing as hard as I can. I can't get any lower than that. And, uh, and here we go. You can see the, the, shot, the suspension is fully compressed. Now, this over here is the uh, Kyosho Ultima. And when I push this one all the way down, you can hear it, you can hear it bottoming out easily. Very, very easily. Same thing on the front of the Kyosho Ultima as well. It, it easily hits and there's plenty of room on the suspension. There's probably about another two millimeters left on that bar there before it hits. So it's, I'm suspecting that there is a design flaw with the uh, suspension on the, uh, the Turnigy and that will need to be resolved and perhaps that will help improve the durability of the car.